welcome back to another video and the YouTube marketing channel here I am Marlon and this one is about how you can upload um, your YouTube videos to your channel faster and there are a few things that you have to respect first is the speed at which um, your internet provider you may have at the moment and also the size of your actual video itself in terms of how big it is in terms of the size of it and also um, there's one more thing you can do to help to enhance the speed at which you upload a video is to pre-populate um, your information into your description and also maybe your information maybe in the tags and stuff like that so there are nice ways how you can pre-populate that all the time so you don't have to go over and over every time to get those information in a description so the first one is let's check the speed um, of the internet so i'm going to use um, speedtest.net and i'm going to test the speed of mine at the moment So as you can see, um, this is my speed of the internet, which I'm using here in London. You can see the upload speed is 170, which is a lot. And also download, so you can see it's, it's one to one ratio between download and also the upload. So for me, I can put up a massive file under certain amounts of minutes and get it up and running. So you need to check, like I said, the, the speed at which your internet is moving at the moment. And you can leave that in the comment section if you think this is quite high, if you think it's quite low comparison to yours. So that's the first thing you want to check is that one. So the next thing we look at now is to go to the back end. And I'm going to do a demonstration of um, just uploading another video, which is the same video which I uploaded yesterday, which is this one here. Um, how to view your comments and your YouTube app. So I'm going to go ahead and find that um, video. So YouTube have changed the way how you upload videos as well um, quite recently. So you may have to study this very careful as you go along. So this is a similar interface. Um, so you click to select your file. So wherever on your PC you might have that file, you're just going to go to that um, um, location and just locate um, that particular video. So I have um, that one in in documents so I think this is one okay this is one I select that one but one of the key thing you can do when you upload a new video on YouTube is to put it in private so in the sense of that it doesn't get to flush out into YouTube for anyone to maybe view it while you're still optimizing your video so whereas you're putting maybe a tag and everything and your description and everything your thumbnails so you can keep that on private um, until you finish that you can go ahead and execute so as I can see, which I was saying to you, that I have all of this um, populated in my videos. So you can see everything inside here comes up from what I have stored um, in the default settings, everything here. So I can go ahead and just add maybe a new hashtag, which is um, relevant to this video right now. But all of these are pre-populated from the settings, which I set it. So I can show you guys how that happens. So the next thing you would do here so it's 95 percent unprocessed so you can go here if you want to put like you said a thumbnail so this is the option here you can do it from right here so you go back here and i could grab the thumbnail for this video uh, which i think was in download so that's the thumbnail here so i could just go ahead add it to it okay so because this is a duplicate because you uh, youtube well this is quite clever because before you could literally upload the same video so this um show you that youtube is really doing the the, the job so you can see this is a duplicate because this video, like I said earlier, is on my channel already. So what happens, they abandon this one because obviously that would be uh, like a duplicate. So, but like I said, so that was the same premise. So after you upload the thumbnail, you go over to monetization if yours is on, and then you go down to video elements. You can add different things, maybe call to action, stuff like that. You can add a playlist and then in vis visibility, that's where you have it on private or you can have it on ready to publish so you can go ahead and um, deselect from private to publish now and that's where you have it so let me show you how i get to have those pre-populated information which is right here in the actual video and that we're going to save you lots of time 
So it's quite good. So I can just go ahead because this is the same actual video here. So let's get rid of this from now. Okay, so we're gonna go down to channel. So you click on channel, and then you're gonna go to we have um see right now you have um status and features. So you have monetization, def um, upload defaults. So you're going to go to um, upload defaults. And this is where exactly all of the magics happen for you. So you can see privacy right here. You can see that I have it on pri um, private. So you can either have it on public while you're uploading the video. But for me, I choose the option to go private. So by the time I finish putting in my title, putting in my description and other um, keywords and stuff like that, then that will be ready for it to execute into the into the search our youtube search engine so you can see everything is here which was um privacy on the other video so you can see so all i have to do now come inside here drop when it's uploading on youtube just drop now my new description of the, the particular video at hand so for that particular video now i can come populate it with the correct this um, description of that video and then I can, um, you know, go through, sprinkle a couple of keywords and stuff like that throughout um, the description. And pretty much that's it. And you can see that um, for my category, I have a people and blogs. So you can go ahead and preset everything here. And that, to be honest with you, save you lots of time. And then obviously I have um, just two key, um, two tags, which is the name of the channel and also this tag, which I normally use um, a lot of time as well. So you can, if you have more related tags that you normally use all the time, you can just come inside here and just add it inside here. And then after you add everything, you just go ahead and save. And that's pretty much how you have everything preloaded. So that saves you a good few more minutes, maximum two, two to five minutes extra of that upload in time for you. And like I said, as long as your speed of your internet is up to par, then definitely, definitely you can see the result of you uploading at a higher speed. But if it's just normal for you wherever you are, then you're gonna have to just work around that. And the same thing, you have to be mindful of the size of the the video that you're uploading as well. Because if you're doing maybe a 20 minutes, half an hour, or an hour, what it depends on whatever video you're making, then it may take longer for you. So you're gonna have to be patient with that. But like I said, there are ways you can run back the art, the particular video through different software to reduce the size, like Handbrake. I don't know if you guys heard about Handbrake. You can run it through that as well, and then you can reduce the size of your file. And that's how you can able to upload at some more quicker speed with your uh, accompany with obviously your internet speed. So these are nice little ways you guys can come do that and you can make the best of uploading your videos. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do upload videos on a daily or weekly basis, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, making money. Definitely find it on my channel. So thank you very much and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you.